Hello, hello, hello. Sir David the Bard, I'm coming to you out of the uh, Bradenton, Florida. I'm on the Gulf side of uh, Florida because the hurricanes are on the other side. And I'm hiding here I'm behind a bunch of oil <laughs> spill sand here in Bradenton. And I can look out and the waves are beautiful. They're all black <laughs> with oil. Anyway, anyway. Um, you know, I, I wonder if the Mormon Church really believes the rest of us are as stupid and have such low IQs as their members that we're going to believe their shit. You know, one of the things when I went to BYU, one of the main purposes of uh, going to college is being able to see shit. <laughs> BYU taught me that, and I don't want to be anywhere near this. Let me bring you up. Let me bring you up what the Desert News is doing here. Let me get you the... the okay, here it is. That's a published Sunday... November 17th at 4.50 p.m., the Desert News, and it says, Typhoon recovery, sleepless nights for those in search of help and giving help. Hmm. All right, there's some pictures over there. There's 22 photos, and I want you to go look at them. Okay, I'm going to click on those right now, and I'm going to say what I see. Okay, here's a guy that basically... Uh, is instructing two missionaries with ties. The next picture is a whole bunch of little missionaries with ties in their yellow vests. Here's a picture of the Cebu Temple, and here's a bunch of Filipino kids putting uh, bags of, I think, tarps. They're T-A-R-P-S, tarpaulins, they call them in the Philippines. It's the old world word. And they're putting them in the back of a pickup truck that has a camper shell on it. And I don't know, you might be able to get 50 tarps, 20 tarps, whatever. And they're loading in the Cebu <laughs> Temple parking lot. They have on Mormon Helping Hands, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, vest. The big yellow vest on these little tiny kids and taking pictures <laughs> for the the desert news so that they can tell their members uh, how much help they're giving uh, in the Philippines and their money is going for humanitarian aid is billion billion dollar corporation uh, let me see what else is they're saying here in the article um, they say uh, they're, they're helping people out they're sending food blankets water and anything else they need to survive it's not true uh, what what's going on here is when you have a disaster the size of this disaster, a few tarpaulins <laughs> that you bought <laughs> at Home Depot for twelve ninety five each uh, is not that much humanitarian aid. The Mormon Church, the number is uh, one percent. Uh, they've given one percent of their income. Uh, to humanitarian services uh, in the last 10 years. Billions and billions of dollars rolling in, but their corporations, uh, their cattle ranches and the rest of it, they don't no donate a dime. <laughs> it comes all from the tithe payers. You know, they put those yellow vests on to identify themselves. Why do you need a yellow vest when you have a shirt... <laughs> a tie on and you're in a paved parking lot at the Cebu Temple and you're putting tarpaulins into a uh, brand new pickup truck with a camper shell on it. D does anyone believe that they're really doing anything in a disaster area? Do does anyone really believe that those 11 and 12 year old kids that they put those uh, vests on, those yellow vests, are adults uh, or are they the kids of the members they get all the kids lined up and put a yellow vest on them and then they have a long line uh, of handing tarpaulins to each other <laughs> all you got to do is just pick the tarpaulin up walk over put it in the truck but no they have a long line of like nine people to make it look like uh, it's a whole ward or a whole stake or somebody doing something. You know, when you bring transports in, like the United States government, you've got two 747s, I think, that landed, and, and what is it, C-130s? Millions and millions of pounds of food and generator, and these guys are handing out tarpaulins. I'm sure they were on sale at 9.99 at Home Depot. So anyway, you know... Uh, 
maybe the members of the church can look at this and think that uh, there is humanitarian aid going on. Look at the scope of it. Look at the scope of it. Why the yellow vests for the pictures? If they're not posing and if they're not staging, why do you put a yellow vest over a shirt and tie of a missionary? So every time they do something for somebody else, they put the vest on, and then KSL takes pictures of them to make the members of their cult believe that they're helping. They're not helping. They're not helping. Uh, ten of their sister missionaries almost died over there because the church was too cheap to move them out of the danger area. But anyway, hey, I'm going to put the um, link down by my um, uh, date the blue date I think here uh, underneath the date is the link let me go back to where I am yeah here I am okay so anyway uh, if you see a yellow vest it's not a, a construction crew member it's it's a Mormon missionary pretending that he's engaging in humanitarian services what else do you do when all the people are dead there's no one there's no doors or tents or cardboard boxes to pound on and, and say, you know, Jesus has sent me. People are going to say, hell, look what Jesus has already done. Get out of here. We don't need no Jesus here. Thanks.